Hey guys, it's Ingrid with Care Tootie and I am back with another cute and fast altered tag using um, the NSK shop and um, this is going to be a tag that takes looks like it took you forever but only really took me about 30 minutes. So first um, I'm using a paper pad, the Fly Away With Me and then the Wild and Free from Paper Studios some heavy white gesso, a paintbrush, and some corrugated cardboard that I had laying around. And then of course a paper trimmer. So first I'm taking um, this, actually it's a scrap that I had lay laying around from my last project that I did using um, Natasha's shop. And um, check out that video, I'll link it down below. But um, I used this paper because I thought it was a nice neutral and um, this might be going to someone, so I wanted it to kind of coordinate um, the box and this, so um, I haven't decided though. But anyways, I'm using some wet glue here um, to adhere a piece of the tag. I actually start with the middle of the tag and um, build it outward so that I can have a border around it. And I'm making sure to leave the edges without the glue because I'm gonna roll them down. And um, what I do, what I like to do is to layer the middle part onto some cardstock and then cut around it and then that gives me my tag. I usually don't um, measure unless it's a project that uses specific measurements and then I'll start with the outer piece first and then go inward um, but in this case I was just kind of eyeballing it so um, I just wanted something that looked cute um, and I wanted to show you guys a project that again looks like it took forever um, but it doesn't and so we'll keep that as our little secret one of my favorite parts is the distressing and <clears throat> excuse me as you can see here I love rolling the edges it just makes it look shabby it makes it look like you know it's been there for a thousand years and it brings a lot of character to um, your project and a lot of charm so um, that's what I'm doing here and um, another little tip is don't be afraid to add a dog ear so up at the any of the corners it could be the top or the bottom bring it in like a triangle and glue it down. And especially if you have um, double-sided pattern paper, then you're gonna have the other side showing through and that just adds um, some more shabbiness to it. Now I'm taking this rose pattern and I'm taking about a little more than half of the, um, the middle layer and and you see here, I didn't give it very much thought at all, and I'm just going to go with the size that I chose, and I'm gonna distress the top of it. Um, I want there to be a rose pattern, but I also I don't want it to be too perfect. Um, and so you'll see later, we're gonna distress it even more, but I'm just distressing it like this. And the only reason I'm bringing it up and not doing it on the table, which I totally do not recommend that you do. It's a lot harder. It's because, um, as you can see there, I have my tripod there and then the camera shakes. And if you're like me, it will make you dizzy. So I didn't want to do that. Um, but anyways, I'm doing the exact same thing using my um, tacky glue and I'm going to adhere the rose um, pattern paper onto the Prima pattern paper. And again, I'm going to um, roll the, the edges. And again, it's just gonna add um, just some, some character and, and some charm to it. So um, the piece that I think adds the most charm to this project is this. It's a corrugated box. It's just an old box that I had and I tore it up. And um, I picked one that had a lot of corrugation as you can see here. And it does add a lot of dimension to your project. And for me, I feel like it's very, very charming. It doesn't look like it's just a piece of a box. So we're really almost done with the base now. And it's going to be time for the best part, which I, at least to me, it's the embellishments. And um, NSK is actually a perfect place to shop for an embellishment. She's got an amazing array of products that will take your project to the next level. So make sure you um, check her out down below. 
So I'm going to start, and actually here I try to make that doily work, but um, it ends up not making the cut. So I'm taking some cutouts that I had from that uh, fly away with me or fly me away collection and I'm just distressing it and this is an old ticket and I really wanted to keep the the original ticket like the full size but I realized that it's going to cover up the corrugated box and I don't want to do that it's kind of defeating the point so I'm going to actually cut it down and I'm taking two pieces the next one's like a little tag um and I know that I'm going to use these and I'm just distressing them, but we're not going to put anything down yet. We're just getting it ready. So again, you can see here I am using a, the box to distress just so that I don't move the camera around. So another thing for distressing is don't be afraid to distress some of the front of whatever it is that you're working on. Um, it'll add a lot of character and you can see there I pulled up some of the paper which makes it again look cute which that's kind of what I was going for with an old tag. So I'm going to also wrinkle the paper up. Um, if you want you can also always add just a little spritz of water and it'll help your paper crinkle a little more. Now the only thing you have to take into account is adding some drying time for that. And so that's why I didn't do it in this case. And I just decided to um, crinkle it by hand. So um, I'm trying to figure out what pieces I'm going to layer here. And if you guys saw the last video I did with the haul, um, I had some really pretty twine that I had gotten at um, Tuesday morning and it's gold and white and so I thought that would be really cute um, layering underneath that would also add some character and remember with shabbiness you just want to add layers. <clears throat> it's like um, that's one of the prerequisites and, and for me I feel like it's like haphazard layers so it doesn't look put together which in my opinion, is a lot better because I either I have to measure and it has to be perfect or I have to just wing it. And so um, that allows me to do that. So here I'm just kind of playing with the size and I that's when I realized that I need to cut down the tag. And at first I was really sad, but once the tag was done, um, I felt like it it looked really cute on there so I didn't worry too much about it um, so my favorite part is about to come up and I know I already said my favorite part was the embellishments but um, my real favorite part is the distressing because that's really where this project comes to life so um, I'm still playing around and that's usually my the piece that takes me the longest is just um, figuring out how I want things to go and in this case it's still not even going to go the way that I'm messing around with it um, so I don't know why I do that so much but um, I do. So I'm taking a piece of this um, sequin trim that I got um, from her shop as well and I am going to glue it down using a hot glue gun and I think a, a tip that I did in the first uh, video that I did for her and I showed that you put a little dot of glue at the bottom edge of the sequin. That way it won't unravel on you. So um, I do that here and then, and I actually ended up having to get my glue gun for this part just because I wanted to make sure that it stuck out. You can also use something like um, glossy accents. Mine um, needed, I needed to open the, the top of it. So I just decided to use the glue gun instead and I'm just gluing it down and I think at this part um, you're probably looking at it and thinking it doesn't look very shabby because the colors are really bright but wait until you see what we're going to do with it and it's going to um, transform the project completely. So here I'm pulling out all the pieces that um, I'm going to use that adorable um, it's a wood veneer piece. It's a flower and then it's covered in like a patterned, um, I guess like kind of fabric. And I'm going to end up using that one as well as that super duper cute bow up at the top. It's like an acrylic piece. Um, and, um, that's actually one of my favorite pieces. And then I'm going to also add some bling, um, that she sent me that, um, 
of course, I mean, all projects, I, for me, the more bling, the merrier. So I realized now that I had said that the doily wasn't going to make it, and the doily did make it. I totally forgot until I'm looking at the screen now. So um, again, the more layers, um, it's kind of the opposite of what they tell you with accessories to take one off before you leave the house. I kind of feel like shabby is the opposite of that. It's um, add one more um, layer that it can't hurt. Um, so, um, and I actually end up doing that. I end up finding a piece of tool that I'm going to layer underneath the tag. And that was kind of last minute. So now we're going to get to the best part and to kind of, um, mute down the colors. I'm going to take some of the um, heavy white gesso and I'm just going to take my brush and you can take your finger or take um, an old credit card or gift card and I'm just going to add some to the edges and seriously you can already see on the screen how much it changes the project. It um, completely brings it to life and then I love that I did it to the sequin as well. That was kind of like a, it was an experimental tag actually. I figured I would try it and see, you know, if it worked. And then if it did, I'd post the video. If not, then it uh, would go in the trash, but um, it did and I think it came out really cute. Um, and I made sure to um, get the edges down. And as you guys can see, I actually put down a mat this time so I didn't get gesso all over my table. And um, the gesso gives it a lot of character and you feel free to not just put it down on your embellishment pieces, but also on the edge of your tag. And I think I use my hot um, yeah, air gun and just... Um, Again, I do not recommend doing it like this because you can burn your fingers, but I didn't want to move the uh, camera around, so that's why I'm holding it in my hands. So um, next, we're going to finish it off. We're almost completely done. Like I said, it's a super easy project. It only takes, I think it took me about 30 minutes to do, and that's really with the planning. So um you know, it for you, if you're going to follow this step by step, then it'll take you even less time, I think. But um, if you guys make one of these, come by my Instagram, um, and it's Ingrid Carlson, Care Tootie, and tag me. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So um, here I'm just taking the gesso and just expanding the um the theme so that it it coheres with the bottom of the tag and I'm adding it to the edges and just making it look more worn and stuff and then just drying you can always add more so um go with that that you can add a little bit and then add a little more and then add a little more so I think I got it to where I like it and as you can see cutting down the tag was a good idea because now you can really see the corrugated um, box in the background and that's kind of my showstopper I feel which is funny because it's just an old piece of uh, cardboard so here I'm just going to layer all my pieces and like I told you all that layering that I did before kind of was um, futile because I didn't end up using it and um, although I burn my fingers all the time like this um, I don't suggest that you do it or use something to um, to hold down. And there I try to use my scissors because the hot glue will go right through the tool and burn you. Um, and so that's it. I'm going to um, glue this down and finish up with the flower, the little bow, and then um, the little bling. And we're done. So I hope that um, you enjoyed this project. Like I said, it's something very easy but it'll look like you spent hours creating it. And I really encourage you to give it a try, especially if you have never done Shabby Chic. This is a great starter project. So again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so, and a thumbs up will make my day. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.